all too often I get small business owners reaching out to me asking if I could take a look at their account um, because they're not sure if they're doing things correctly. They know they're not doing things correctly, but they don't really know what direction to take. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you my high level audit framework. And essentially what this is, is if I had anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes to just sit down and just look at an account, what would I look at? to try to generate the biggest savings and wins for a client. Um, so this is the high level framework. So if you are a professional service based business and you're trying to generate leads from your Google ads account and you're struggling, I would start here with looking at this audit framework that I typically use. This is not an in depth audit by any means, but it's just looking at different areas in the account to see where you can capitalize and get the most wins within just a minimal time frame. Uh, so typically I like to recommend clients and small business owners do this probably every 60 to 90 days because if you're making big changes in the account, you wanna give it enough time to really mature and then take a look at how you can potentially improve. Uh, and if you're new here, my name is Michelle Kopp. I'm the founder of Level 28 Media and I help professional service-based businesses generate leads from Google Ads. So if you're looking for more phone calls or form submissions from your uh, website or landing pages, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to do an in-depth audit for you um, that will take you through the entire account, 10 pages full of uh, actionable uh, insights and recommendations, or we can also do um, management for you if you're looking for just hands off and you're just looking to have a professional or expert manage your account. So feel free to check out the description below. And now I will go ahead and take you through my high level audit framework so you'll know exactly what you could be implementing or doing as you're looking at your account. So this is essentially getting inside the mind of a Google Ads expert. If we just, if you just had a limited amount of time, what would you focus on? This is what I would focus on. If you are a, if you are a small business looking to generate leads from your Google Ads, so the first area is taking a look at your settings. So within the settings, there's a lot of mistakes that I typically see. The biggest one is opting into search partners. I don't want to say necessarily that it's a mistake, but most of the time I see this as a way that, you know, Google sets things up in default to get advertisers to spend more when they are not even capitalizing on all that they can within standard search. So search partners is serving your uh, ads on websites like askgees.com or any type of like partner website of Google, but it's not really on Google. Um, so if you are opted into search partners after you're looking at your account, what I would recommend you do is take a look at the performance and see if the performance is good. If it's not good, then you want to opt out of it because probably 90% of the time I see that search partners doesn't generate results only like 10% of the times it, it will for specific industries. So in this case, for this specific client, I told them to opt out because they spent $136 over three months with no conversions. And while this is not a ton of money, it adds up over time. So take a look at the, the settings seeing if you're opted into search partners. This is the biggest uh, error typically that I'll see. Second area would be your ad schedule. So this has to do with day parting. Are you on 24 seven? Is it even necessary for your ads to be active 24 uh, seven? So as you're looking at your ad schedule, you wanna see if it makes sense to increase your ad schedule or shrink it down if you cannot handle the lead volume coming through. Um, so in this case, this specific client, they're on from five to 10, seven days a week currently. Take a look at the performance. Look at the specific days that are performing well. If your specific days that are performing well um, could use more boosting, you could increase your bid adjustment so that you could put more emphasis on those days. So you can certainly um, try to maximize what you can out of days that you know are performing well. 
Next up would be audiences. Do you serve audiences in specific age ranges or not? Um, so in terms of uh, age ranges like 18 to 24 year olds or 65 plus, like where do most of them lie? Um, and if you don't want too many people in that lower you know, age range, you can either completely block them out or you can put a negative bid adjustment. So there's ways to put more emphasis on specific age groups, specific genders, specific household incomes. And typically what I'll find when I'm auditing accounts is a lot of accounts do not take advantage of this. So this is a great way to squeeze as much as you can out of your campaign, especially if you don't serve seniors, then you can block out 65 plus year olds. Um, so that's that for audiences. And then on top of that with audiences, I see a lot of accounts that don't leverage layering audiences in observation mode. So audience segments are segments where Google will put you into a group of specific uh, people based off of affinity, based off of interests and so forth. So you want to make sure that you apply these audiences on your campaign so that you can observe how they perform and then you can bid higher on them based off of the performance. So this is just an added bonus if you want to see how specific audiences perform to get the best results from your campaign. Next up would be ad assets. Um, they're used to be called ad extensions, but it's, it's all the same. Are any of your ad assets disapproved? Are you using all the appropriate ad assets? Um, are you using outdated promotions? Try to use as many ad assets as possible. It doesn't cost you any more to actually have them. So keep those, put those in place, monitor them, maximize them as much as you can because it's going to allow you to take up more real estate in the search engine results page if you can appear higher up. So that's what I'll say on the ad assets piece. Um, devices. Are you currently active on all devices? Does it make sense for you to only be active on mobile? Um, a lot of times, you know, when I'm working with clients, mobile is a really big piece of um, the pie, especially in B to C. Um, so Keep that in mind, but before you just make an assumption or judgment, look at the performance of the data before you start removing things. So there is an option within Google Ads to block out desktop, to block out tablet, and so forth. Um, or you can also bid up on specific devices. So that's what I'll say on devices. Next, I'll look at the ads. Um, so ads would include the responsive search ads if we're just talking about standard search. So look at your click-through rate, see how strong it is. If it's above a 5%, I wouldn't be worried about it, but if it's anything under, take a look at it, see what you can do to improve it, test out new headlines, test out new descriptions. Um, look at your um, ad strength score, but don't take it with uh, take it with a grain of salt, but don't take it as if it's the gospel because a lot of times the ad strength score is not really always the best indicator of success um, in terms of return on investment. So take a look at it. It might help you, but you don't have to follow it exactly to the T. And if it's all showing poor, don't be all freaked out by it. <laughs> um, next up would be landing page. Consider when you're looking at the landing page, this could be a video within itself, really. Um, I will go ahead and drop a link in the description where I uh, talk with one of my colleagues about landing pages and best practices for landing pages, so you can check that out. Um, I can create another video on this as well, but look at the landing page. Is it mobile friendly? Does a following landing, does it follow best practices in terms of landing page? conventions and so forth. Keep that in mind. Locations. How are you targeting? Are you doing location targeting in terms of radius? Are you doing it by city? Does it make sense to open up your radius? Can you handle more leads outside of the current area that you're serving? And another thing is with locations and settings 
is making sure that you're selecting presence in or presence um, for your settings instead of uh, people in or frequently in uh, or who typically search for these locations. We only want people in or frequently in these locations. So check your settings and make sure you have that if you are a local business trying to get people to either uh, to come to your location. So look for that. Um, and then also, as you're looking at the account, are there any big core issues that stick out to you? Are you not spending your budget in full? Are you limited by your bid strategy? Um, are you what are your keywords just not really hitting the mark? Could you use better keywords? Um, next would be search terms. So what's happening in your search terms report? Are you getting a lot of junk coming through? Should you be adding more negative keywords or sh could you be adding new keywords to your account based off of the search terms that come in? So look at the search terms, then add negative keywords if necessary. Um, just audit your negative keywords report too because in terms of some mistakes that I see is sometimes clients will block out good keywords as negative keywords or they implement negative keywords incorrectly, please take a look at that. Um, I do have an article on negative keywords. I'll link it in the description below for you to check out um, so that that could be a great resource for you in terms of knowing how to add negative keywords. And then on top of that, let's look at keywords in general. Are there any keywords that have been paused that actually did generate great results? Um, look at that. Um, are there any keywords that are spending too much but not converting? You might want to look at that. Um, do the keywords even make sense? How about the match types? Are you only using broad match? Could you be using some phrase and exact? Is phrase bringing in bad quality searches? So take a look at that and see what you can do for the keywords. And then campaign structure. Look at your campaign structure in terms of how things are being segmented. Are you grouping specific locations together that shouldn't be grouped? Um, are there keywords in a campaign that don't make sense? Um, are you separating specific themes within your campaigns? So these are all high level things that I like to look at when I'm auditing accounts. Um, just if I had 15 to 30 minutes from a high level to look at. Now, if I had a lot more time, um, which a lot of my clients um, want me to do um, in terms of auditing beyond just this high level thing, is if I had more time, I would then do a more in-depth audit, which is what I'm gonna be showing here on the screen. So this is actual service that I provide to my clients um, a lot of them find it super, super helpful in terms of taking them through the actual custom audit report. So you know, we look at things like summary, current performance, locations and settings, account structure, ad copy, conversion tracking, landing page evaluation, and do a performance forecast. So this is if you really wanted to do a deep dive x-ray exam on your campaign, this is what you would want to do. Um, so this is something that I provide, you know, in terms of auditing, it takes me at least a week to go about doing this, but just sharing from a high level, what's all included. Um, it is a 10 page report or more. It just depends on what I find. Um, and I'll compare your year to date performance to performance benchmarks. And you, you can't see everything because a lot of this has been watermarked, but we'll do, um, we'll do a comparison of your year-to-date performance to industry benchmarks. We'll look at locations, we'll look at settings in depth, account structure review, audiences, account profile, keywords, negative keywords, ad copy review with suggestions. We take a deep dive into conversion tracking, landing page review, and how it aligns with best practices. And then we look at potential opportunities to potentially scale in your account. So if you're interested in this, um, it is a service that I provide um, along with a 90 minute consultation on Zoom 
where we have things recorded so that you can watch it over and make updates as needed. But the whole reason for putting this video together was just to show you how you could do it on your own in terms of a high level audit. But if you are seeking more of a professional audit with actionable insights from a professional, then feel free to reach out below and we can certainly have a discussion on putting together a custom PPC audit report typically takes about a week. Um, so if you found this video helpful, I would love it if you can give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel. I post videos every week about Google ads and I would love to see you in the next one. Thank you.